Yes, lads, Joe Breen here, and end of era players have arrived. It's heather late for me at the moment, three, five past three in the morning. Been out, I was expecting it to drop about one ish when I got in, but it's been a bit delayed. But it's here now, stayed up, and um, yeah, so we've got some end of era packs. We're just going to have a look through uh, Totti, Gerard, Lom, Xabi Alonso, Cow, and Lampard. All these players have retired this year. Um, and yeah, it's a predominantly league versus league, so it's not showing any different there. Our league get match ended 30 minutes ago, so I don't think this is going to have the new ones in it, which is a shame. No, it's just the old ones which are useless. These can be binned, so they can go straight to the trash. That's the only place that's good for them now. So we'll get that done. Players, here they are. So end of every players. So there's a few ways to get these. So let's have a look. So there is a Martial token. Um, so we've got a 99 Xabi Alonso, five Legacy tokens, seven Munich, ten Madrid, eight Liverpool, and then a hundred end of every year crests. Oh, so tackling and awareness plus three plus four. Cow plus three finishing plus four heading right wing. He uses Fenerbahce, Liverpool, and Feyenoord. Gerard. Liverpool and LA Galaxy, uh, short passing and shooting, Lampard, West Ham, Chelsea and New York, uh, free dribbling for long passing accuracy, Lom, Stuttgart and Munich, uh, that card looks very very nice indeed, and Totti with his 25 Roma obviously being a truly one club player, free ball, ball accuracy and plus free acceleration. That's interesting now, as of recording this, it's only just gone live, they're not on foot, head to check the stats, but I believe they've been super boosted, super, super boosted, but that's not all we've got, where are they, where are they hiding, where, what are they under, events, are they under events, levelling, no, so where's league v league gone? Where's the new league really? Ah, here they are. Matter mod you can pearl upgrade. So it's your matter you've already got and 10 shield tokens. So win league versus league tournaments to earn shield tokens. Use those to upgrade master players. So one one league versus league win equals one shield token. So 10 wins will net you the upgrade, which is pretty nice actually. So if you've already got them now, you're just 10 days away from the next player. Pretty good indeed. Um, so a month to get all three if you win every single one But I believe there's a live event as it started yet. Yeah, let's do this first So win the match to win a random club error token first win and it's a 10 stamina one So I guess with them being 99 rated cards They are doing it pretty much um, in the style of domination where um, it's not cheap, but it's a high reward So hopefully we'll get um we'll get some um, is it unlimited or is it one time only? It said a one out of one there, so maybe it's only one time rather than domination where you can just sweat it all day long. Um, I kind of want to let this auto play. Here we're playing their Munich. So Munich are one of the higher rated teams, but we should be able to wipe the floor. But Conte is going to run through here, running on the post, and Conte is going to make it 1 0. Yes, he is. 10 minutes, 20 minutes on the clock. But yeah, this pretty much seems like a long term promo. Um, that does at first glance look um, pretty achievable for absolutely anybody to I guess eventually get at least any of the 99 rated end of era cards let me know in the comment section below who you guys are going for who you're going for first are you going to go for one of them or not or are you just going to see what happens with which tokens you get the tokens do mainly come from league versus league so make sure you're playing league versus league and your teammates are taking it seriously and playing their turns if people in your league aren't taking their turns, warn them and drop them if that's the case. Because you don't want to be let down when the rewards in League vs. League have never, ever, ever been better. League vs. League's always been a very nice game that people have liked. It's just if you've already got the achievement players, you've kind of felt like, what's the reason for playing League vs. League now? So fair play for EA to bring in League vs. League. They could have just gave us lots of events to sweat out and do but instead they thought let's give league versus league some love it's been a while but heck we probably would have been content with just the um the matter pearl and moderate upgrades but now they go that step further and they introduce end of era to be part of leagues so fair play so it's a case of we're playing in them 
Obviously, packs will get you the players sooner, but um, that's all the packs seem to do. Just get you there sooner, which is what most... Um, I feel the model that most mobile games should follow, most um, in-app purchase games, it should just be a case of paying, helps you get there quicker, but they're all achievable. So in these reward packs, we will get a Bayern Munich token, end of era. So that's a club token, so that would go into the alarm, or Shabby Alonso. John Fernandez whacked on 13,000 FIFA points. So yeah, um, on the first win. So it's just a one-time thing. So I guess it's not like where we need to absolutely sweat away at it. Um, let's have a look. So there's a one-time end of error, one club error, 10, 10 year tickets. So there's a one-time coin one to help you get there a little bit quicker. There's the 1K FIFA points. And there's the bundle, which gets you 10 end of error packs, one legacy token and five elite players. So let's open this bundle and see what we can get. So these massive thanks to EA for these FIFA points. Obviously, it's part of the game changer program. And what are we going to find in here? Stuttgart. Well, we've got a good start to alarm, to be honest. Um, I think I want to kind of aim for like Gerard first, Gerard or Lampard, and then Alarm, I guess. So in that first set, we get the end of ever tokens and we get the Stuttgart token. Um, I guess well look we can get any of the items but you can't get the players players cannot be found in packs it's just the tokens what should we get and then we get Matuidi Ooh, ultimate flashback on the second pack do need to be quite quiet cause it, like I said and there's a fan yard Bonaventura end of error end of error end of error year tokens but yep get in Matuidi we will take that indeed very nice pull 91 CDM. I'm not sure how much he goes for anymore, but that's more coins than I was expecting because I haven't sold Mane yet, so I'm quite low on coins at the moment. Let's see what the rest of this bundle brings us. Let's just get as many tokens as we can. We're getting a few fair elites in here. Get a Roma card. Um, that's a point. Let's check the back of them. So, okay. The club error tokens are tradable. That is decent. That is very nice indeed. They are tradable. So that means if you want and if you need them, and we've got a Chelsea one, so that's towards our Lampard. That's very interesting that they're tradable. That, that's that's cool. If that means they're tradable, that means you can pick them up on the market. So I guess it's the legacy tokens, the elite legacy tokens. They're essentially the elite team of the season tokens of this plan. Hopefully there is a trading and there's a cooldown on it, which is a week long. So it's not quick for anyone, uh, really, with that. So we'll be working towards these, I guess, for a while, uh, which is interesting because it seems like these will take a while to do. Um, obviously, I'll have to suss it out in a bit more detail. But um, Lewandowski, 85 rated, pretty decent. And a new Munich, another buy Munich one. So that's decent as well. We will take that indeed. Be very, very happy with that be happy with any of them ready because um yeah they're sellable so we can always just buy the tokens that we do need and um do it that way and there's the real madrid one very nice uh i think we've got nearly all of them so far there's a few we haven't got yet like west ham i don't think i've seen pop up but yeah i think gerard and Lam are my eight main aims but i'd equally be happy to go for lampard over gerard as well either one of the center mids the right back, uh, maybe even the Jabby Alonso, but uh, we'll have to see what happens with, with Community Team of the Week. Because out of the three so far, I feel like Cater's got the best chance. Um, but we'll have to see what the final week brings us. Let's see if we can find anything else in this penultimate pack before the final one. And then jump over into the topper. And we've got another Fine Yard token. So we've picked up a few Fine Yard tokens now. And let's see what we can get in this final pack before we open that topper and find out what we're going to be treated to. Hey, 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 hey. End of error, end of error, Damian. And what, we're going to find a Chelsea one. There we go. Okay, let's have a look what's in here. So, what is it? A legacy, some other stuff, and a um, five elite players. So, oh, Bruma transferred, Bruma transferred, Walker. Is Brooks a transfer, or did he sign last season? No, he signed last season. Big Lizard. Wait, are these all transfers? Is that, are they all transfers? They're all transfers, aren't they? Decent, I'll see if they're still going for anything. And 
uh, wire rare. Let's open the one time 100k pack, 150k pack. It's going to leave us pretty much broke, but we've got some place to sell and move on and shift around to put it back up. And let's see what we get in here. And doesn't seem like we're making profit back on this pack. My throat is really, really dry. I do need to go straight to bed once I've done this. So, yeah, um, let's have a look if there's anything hiding. No, I think that's pretty much where we're at now. So let's just check the plans, players. Um, so year token. So what's this? Trading year tokens is a random club error token. So we can trade them to get the club tokens. Trading club error tokens to receive a legacy token. So we're going to. I'm going to put the Feyenoord ones in for sure because I'm definitely not going for that. Uh, Fenerbahce we don't need, and I'm not going to go for Totti because I've already got him. You know what, because I think legacy tokens, are, these are tradable and legacy tokens are going to be the hard thing and that's a weak cooldown. I'm just going to get this started straight away. So I'm going to put the, them in. Um, I'm going to have to get rid of one of these, which uh, I kind of need to use for long, but I'm just going to do that straight away. Just because the cooldown's one week long. So um, yeah, we need to get that moving as soon as we can because, yep, 24 hour cooldown. Um, long. Wait, are we going for Lam first? We're going for Gerard. Not that we've got any of the tokens needed. Let's store them in there and uh, we'll store these ones in here. So that's where we're at. I'm looking forward to this. Um, I've got to wait almost 24 hours now though for the, um, for, for the first win to see what we get. It, um, it, it varies. So if you win, you get so if you win the league versus league, you'll get a club error token, 10 year tokens and one elite shield token. If you draw, you will get five year tokens. And if you lose, you'll get three year tokens. But I believe there's a chance that those tokens, could, the club error tokens could be a legacy token. So there's that chance there, but let me know of your thoughts in it below. I'm going to bed now. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at JBDNHD and I'll see you all later. Peace.